For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Let's RDP to the um, Windows Server. So, which is, and I'm just going to log in with the administrator account and provide the password. Click OK so that uh, yes, click yes. Now I can connect to the remote desktop. Now you can see so the Windows uh, I'm able to log into the Windows Server. So now let's open the Server Manager in order to install the SNMP feature in this Windows machine and go to the features and say add features and you can just little bit come down you can see that there is a SNMP service and check mark that and click next click install so it will take a few moments to install this uh, service the feature now so the SNMP installation is completed Let's close this window and go to the services. Click on the services I can see services has been opened and let's go to the uh, SNMP service and open that SNMP service. Okay, click on that and properties. And uh, go to the security window here and add the community string here. So the community string I am creating is uh, read write and so say that the community string is Nachos. So you can create a complex string here but I'm just creating it simple and add the trap host is Nacho server 192.168.29.200 and click add and click apply click OK so now you can see that so the host has the trap access go to general tab and start the service now click OK. The service has been started. So SNMP is configured from the Windows side. So let's uh, turn off the firewall here. So otherwise it just create the issues. Or we have to add the firewall rule to allow the SNMP traffic. So I can just click on this go to the firewall settings system settings and security go to firewall okay it looks like turned off okay so that's what we required from the windows side I'm in Najo server so before uh, we are going to add any SNMP host first of all we have to prepare the Najo server for uh, SNMP monitoring in order to do that we have to install the SNMP packages here so m install net SNMP dash y so it will install the SNMP and its dependent packages and we need to install the net SNMP which is a parallel package so I'm just installing that packages as well so now both are installed so just go to slash TMP and download this uh, not just plugins 2.3.3 version then extracted versions 
the plugin version 2.3.3 now let's enter into the directory and configure this slash dot slash configure So run make all. And run make install. And you can go to slash user local etc lib eh, sorry not just etc not just libx you can see that check underscore snmp plugin is available. So now we have to download the SNMP plugins. So I'm just cloning the tech ARKIT in Argeos Git repository. So git clone httpsgithub.com tech ARKIT in Argeos.git. So which has the plugins available. So now let's go to Nagios uh, repository which we have downloaded and go to the plugins directly and change the permissions to triple seven here all executable will be required and let's run one of the plugin from here and see uh, it is working fine or not so do you have any dependencies pending over there so i'm just checking check underscore snmp load dot pl and 192.168.29.205 is the windows machine and uh, the string is nagios and version is 2 snmp version 2 and the critic warning is 90 critical is 90 okay so it is working fine now let's copy this snmp plugins to the libx directory after that just go ahead and uh, create the commands so i just uh, editing the commands.cog file here and say that uh, SNMP commands now so what we have to do so we have a few plugins those plugins we have to define the commands for each plugin so let's define command and command name so I already specified those plugin names over here and you just copy paste check underscore snmp and command line we have to specify the command line here this is the command line and close the bracket so we have to do the same for another plugin so I'm going to define the command so instead what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to um, paste this command over here and see the make these commands on this notepad itself and uh, paste it in the terminal so that would make easy and I, what I'm doing is that I'm just copying these lines over here later I replace this command name okay just copy paste So I have pasted this define command and uh, command line so but the command name I have to change it so let's copy the same plugin name and uh, paste it on the command name so that it changes so you can see that the plugin name I am specifying as a command name so that it easy to understand and easy to remember so 
let's copy paste this command names I'm just copying the plugin name as command name so you can see now all the commands is command definition is almost ready so we have to enter the close bracket so that uh, the command will complete here so let's copy here and paste the same uh, close bracket and uh, space between the command so that it would be easy for us to formatting purpose So now all the commands are ready. Copy paste this command specification content. Here the definition, command definitions and paste it over here. And adjust these brackets a little bit so that uh, formatting looks good. Formatting completed. Let's save this file, the command source UG file. So now commands are in place. So now what we have to do is that we have to go to slash USR local nachos etc servers directory and create the this Windows configuration file for SNMP Windows 2008 dot tech ark it dot local dot cg file I now define the host definition here so define host use uh, the template name here so windows dash server and let's say host name Windows 2008 Windows 8 dot local that is the name of the host I now say alias say Windows 2008 web server and add the address IP address 192.168.29.205 and contacts the contact name the notification contacts and contact groups admins and close this bracket and define the services here so service definitions I'm adding the comment here now define the service define service and open the bracket and use template name windows service you can just copy paste that and say alia service underscore description here I'm just going to use ping service name so let's format it so it looks good and check underscore command so we have to add the command line check underscore ping 100.00 comma 20 percent and 500.0 comma 60 percent which is the ping definition and contacts 
contacts group and close the bracket those are one definition so ping service definition is completed so let's format the, the text a little bit and again define one more service so you just copy paste above lines and uh, define the service description here c drive disk space space so check underscore command so here we have to add check underscore snmp underscore storage is the command name and uh, iphone c for community string and version warning is 80 percent critical is 90 percent and uh, we are going to check the fixed disk the value is c so that is the one service uh, verifying the drive space c drive space and i am checking for one more service called physical memory usage and check command and check underscore snmp underscore storage and here uh, in place of fixed disk i'm using physical storage is the module name and uh, virtual memory usage so it is going to be a swap space and check command again i'm going to use the same snmp storage so until the module is same but the module name is virtual memory here and again copy paste this contacts and contacts group close the bracket and now again define one more service until the service description you can copy paste it and try specify uptime check command and check underscore snmp and use the string value and the oid value is sys uptime dot o and uh, that's all the service i'm just defining for the windows snmp and let's close this save this configuration file and verify in Agios. okay you can see that there is a duplicate command found on the commands.cog file okay let's edit this commands.cog file and command one of the check underscore snmp here so check underscore snmp is already exist but we still added the check underscore snmp so let's comment this command so now save this file again verify the nudges and you can see that okay there is a templating issue so the con it's not contacts group it's actually contact groups so there's a spelling mistake and again try to verify the nudges here and this time you can see that there is a template name issue okay let's uh, copy the template name from the template.cfg file so windows dash tech it's not windows server and change this template name and again we have to change the service template as well so let's replace windows dash server to with the service dash tech it so now both the templates has been corrected and let's verify again Nagios configuration okay this time it looks good so there is no errors let's restart the Nagios service and go back to the web console and see the status just refresh it and go to the windows okay after five minutes you can see that all the services are reporting fine the snmp checks are working fine as expected so that's it monitoring particular process using the snmp so i'm going to define one more definition is called uh, here monitoring processes status so process status i'm just going to monitor using the 
SNMP. So define the service here and add the explorer service name. Check underscore command and define the command name here. So check underscore SNMP process and put the exclamatory mark and uh, pass the arguments. The SNMP string value, iPhone R, iPhone N. iPhone N, you have to specify that particular process name, what you are looking for. So in this in this case, I am looking for explorer.exe and uh, copy paste this context and context groups definitions and close this service and save this configuration file. And let's verify the nachos. Okay, all looks good and restart the Nachos service. And wait for a few minutes and go back to the console and see. Okay, you can see that the services definition is completed. So in order to get the service status faster, I'm rescheduling the service check. And let's refresh it again and see. Okay, it's look good. You can see that the process status is monitoring completed. That's about it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. If you want to join the uh, WhatsApp group, the link is given below in the description. Click on the link and join the WhatsApp group for connecting with more technical people.